Hey there, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all of the love and support that you've given us. We love and support you too. Psych2Go's mission is to make content on mental health more accessible to everyone. We welcome you to another thought-provoking trip down psychology lane. Bon voyage. Are you in a relationship with someone who might be immature? In order for two people to be able to have a strong and healthy relationship, there needs to be intimacy, honesty, trust, respect, loyalty, dedication, and most of all, maturity. The level of maturity that partners show in a relationship can make or break it. Now, before we go on and list all the signs of an immature partner, we'd like to mention that this is meant for educational purposes only and not at all intended to attack or criticize anyone who may be displaying these signs. With that said, here are seven telltale signs that someone may be too immature for you. One, they act on their emotions. Do they have a bad habit of letting their feelings be the main input to a decision? Being with someone who often lets their feelings cloud their judgment and turn them cruel in the heat of a moment can be incredibly stressful and even abusive when things get out of hand. They're prone to insulting you, screaming at you, and sometimes even throwing things at you when their emotions get out of control. Two, they take everything personally. Do you feel like you're walking on eggshells around them? Or are you worried that they'll lash out on you if you say something wrong? If so, it's another sign that you may be dating someone too immature for you. Such people lack the maturity to understand that not everything is about them. They're so narrow-minded and sensitive to criticism that they can't stand to be corrected. You can't communicate openly to them about their flaws and weaknesses because they're so defensive of their ego. Which brings us to our next point. Three, they lack self-awareness. Self-awareness is one of the most important elements of emotional maturity because it's what allows us to recognize our flaws and take responsibility for our mistakes. So if you're dating someone who lacks self-awareness, they're going to have a hard time understanding your perspective and hearing you out in an argument because they're so incapable of seeing their own faults or others' points of view. Their denial of their own failings as a person makes them more prideful, stubborn, hard-headed, and inconsiderate towards others. Four, they blame other people for their problems. Are they apt at playing the blame game? Do they refuse to own up to their mistakes? Immature people don't know how to hold themselves accountable, so they blame others for their problems and simply make themselves out to be the victim in all of it. They victimize themselves as a way to avoid responsibility and convince themselves that everyone but them is always to blame. They spend all their time whining about the situation they're in, but don't do anything to help themselves get out of it. Instead, they simply point their finger at someone, say it's their fault, and demand other people clean up their mess for them. Five, they always have to have their way. Entitled, demanding, rigid, and overbearing. Do those words describe your partner? If so, then they might not have the maturity to be in a healthy relationship right now. People who always wanna have their way tend to be controlling and manipulative. At first, they may be kind, charming, and pleasant to be around but the moment you disagree with them or refuse to do as they say, they'll get into a big argument with you about it and won't stop until you give in. They don't wanna listen. They're not willing to compromise and they always wanna be the one taking charge in your relationship. Six, they act passive aggressive. Does your partner give you the silent treatment without ever telling you what it was you did wrong? It certainly goes without saying that engaging in passive aggressive behaviors and playing mind games with your significant other is not something a mature person would do. But instead of being honest with you about their feelings and communicating them openly, your partner acts out by avoiding you, ignoring you, making sly handed remarks at you and treating you with thinly veiled hostility. They deny that anything's wrong when it's clearly not true because they're not mature enough to simply talk to you about what's bothering them. And seven, they're overly possessive. Do they get upset when you spend time with others? Do they often disrespect your personal boundaries? Immature partners may be clingy, possessive, and unreasonably jealous. They don't want you spending too much time with anyone else because they want you all to themselves. All your hobbies, interests, and personal goals have even fallen to the wayside after you started dating them. Because in their eyes, making them your only priority is the only way you can prove that you truly love them. So is your current partner showing these very same signs of immaturity? Or are you personally guilty of doing these things we've mentioned here? 
If so, it's okay to admit that you're still learning how to be more mature. Emotional maturity takes time, and it's something a lot of people struggle with throughout their lives. But the fact that you're willing to admit that you still have room to grow shows progress. It shows that you're willing to open up to your mistakes and change for the better. Please remember to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon.